Will the uh, Tuesday, February 20th, uh, 2018 meeting of the Wilmette Public Library District Board of Trustees uh, please come to order. Um, I've appointed uh, Stuart Wolf is Secretary Pro Tem. Could you please call the roll? Sure. Trustee George. Here. Trustee Wolf. Here. Trustee McDonald. Here. Trustee O'Loughlin. Here. And note for the record that we do have a quorum for today's meeting. Um, the first item of business is to approve the January minutes located behind attachment one. I move that the January minutes be approved for 2018. I'll, I'll second it. Second. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. The minutes are approved. Uh, we've got Sir Beth here to talk to us about um, her department. I should note that I, I think Heather plans to, over the course of the year or so, we're going to hear from folks. And I think it's great that we're studying up with Sarah Beth. And um, she put a th few notes together, sort of. But why don't you tell us? So um, over the past year, uh, my department has grown considerably. Mm -hmm. um, it was a single person department running in, as part of administration for many, many years um, with the primary function of coordinating room rentals, acting as the friends liaison, planning cultural programs, um, some community programs and partnerships, and writing our newsletter, editing our newsletter every other month. Um, but over time, um, the things that we've wanted to do that touch those areas have grown. We wanted to expand our publicity and our marketing, and um, we've done more publications. We want more newsletters. We want more e-newsletters, more social media. Um, our programming has grown a huge amount. Um, we want more community partnerships. We want more concerts. We want more concerts that feel like a community partnership. Um, and all that takes manpower. So um, over the past year, we've added two positions in my department. We first added a part-time graphic designer who works 15 to 20 hours a week. Um, she creates graphics that you see all throughout the building. She creates graphics to use in social media, on our website. Um, we unveiled a new website last spring and have been working hard to make it feel like a cohesive destination, an online branch, and she really mm -hmm. um, has been vital in helping that look really sharp and professional. She also runs our community art shows, um, which evolved last year. We, we unveiled a new format, which um, takes away the competition, the jury section that we had done for many years, and makes them pure, um, community art shows and it's been really successful and really fun and she manages that and has an art background so that is a really good fit as we do more art um, community art in the building she she's done a great job um, and is a great person to manage that and then we realized we still had more projects that we wanted to take on so we brought in another full-time position um, and that is our creative experiences coordinator um, and her name is Jennifer Bartell. She just started right at the very end of last year. I think the two days before um, New Year's. So, um, and that position, we did not call a programming coordinator because it really is more than just coordinating programs. Um, but she does do a lot of that. That is sort of the base of her job. She has taken over most of the programming in community services. Um, and some interesting new projects like our book bike, which we are working hard to unveil. Mm -hmm. The book bike. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, which we'll unveil this spring so that we can use it this summer. Um, and helping to coordinate some different exciting projects that are um, interdepartmental and intergenerational. Um, so it's nice that we can have a community services presence in programming that has been going on for a long time to help us ramp up communications about it um, and some library-wide activities where we've been really strong in adult and kids. Now we're able to add a third piece of sort of library-wide. Um, and then one thing she will do when we, as we start to get into this more is 
um, help us evaluate programs. She's incredibly organized, and I think helping us come up with programming statistics is going to be a real forte of hers. Um, and then that has freed me up to continue to do much of the work I've done. I remain our friends liaison, and we're um, able to do, we're, we're excited to take on some different types of funding projects with the friends going forward. Mm -hmm. um, so that partnership is going really well. Um, and continue doing off the shelf and our annual report, as well as now we're sending out a library, a community-wide e-blast to everyone in our system twice a month. Um, we're working on getting more addresses for that. <laughs> um, but also a lot of special projects. We have a lot of library-wide communication projects that we want to take on um, that we haven't had any space to do. So things like our signage project is just a ton of work and needs somebody to pay attention to it. And this, turning over some of the day-to-day -day programming duties has allowed me time to do it thoughtfully. Um, other things like more um, thoughtful programming with the Chamber of Commerce or um, helping to connect different departments. Mm -hmm. we're, we're working to make summer reading a little bit um, more inclusive of the whole library. It's been incredibly strong as a programming and reading program for kids and really strong for adults. But in terms of library-wide publicity and excitement, that's the next level we want to take it to. Um, inner staff communication is another thing that we're hoping we can ramp up as well. As we want to get our message out to the community, the first place we have to start is with each other and make sure we all know what's going on in the building every week and what's really exciting. Um, and so I'm working on ways to do that with Stephen um, Coble, who does our digital services, so we can use online tools. And I've started talking about it with Mike Boone, our new HR person, about how do you get staff to to listen and feel excited. Um, and he's, I don't know if y'all have met him yet, but he's yeah. awesome. So, <laughs> um, so that's sort of how everything is laid out right now. Yeah. I'm glad you updated us, because I know it's kind of felt for us like, okay, there's this new piece, there's this new piece, and now you kind of give us the overview of how it works with what you've done in the past and mm -hmm. how the role, it really has just expanded so much what your department's doing. Yeah. Was so. the graphic design in, sent outside prior to the new person? There just, <laughs> some, some degree of it was. We, you know, our logo was designed out of house and um, our newsletter, the original template was designed by a graphic designer, and then we used our printer to help with some pieces. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, we just didn't have graphic design, pretty much. Um, we bought things that were pre-made or did our best. Mm -hmm. And that's including before, for me, <laughs> before we got Sarah. Well, I, I do feel as though, like, with Sarah, uh, with um, Rose, Sarah Rose, that it's an example of something that you didn't know you were missing until all of a sudden you had it, and you realize how really lovely the mm -hmm. signs are eye-catching I like the little message of something new when you come into the library it was about Einstein and knowing where the library is and now it's reminding people the library is going to be closed right mm -hmm. I just noticed Which that tonight I think that way. that you know I mean sort of thoughtful of, all right this is what you need to know now one of the things that you mentioned uh, just a little bit in passing is the new card catalog do you have a marketing plan or what do you know what I, I'm sure you do. I guess what I'm really saying is tell us about what, how you're going to introduce that. Sure, we, we've been talking about that. Um, part of it is trying to figure out all the various users who check out books um, and especially use our products online but may not come into the library or pay attention to the newsletter. So we've talked about figuring out ways to get email addresses and send creative and engaging um, emails to let people know. And then we'll have in-house um, signage as well starting. Not too soon. You, you know, you don't want to do it before people, too far before people will actually be able to use 
the product. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the new um, catalog, basically the new. I said card catalog, which yeah. is really it'll be. Fun. I know. I was, I was searching for the actual word, word. but everybody no, knew what it won't be shut. That's it's not part. two weeks. It's about a week that it will be out Thank of you. commission, um, and it won't be fully out of commission. It just won't be entirely useful. Well, only three days for patrons. Right. Actually. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, our technical services will be down for a week. Uh, but for, on the patron end of things, it's going to be three days in between, okay. and uh, April seventeenth launch date. Yeah. Okay. So what'll it'll, it'll will there be like a message saying you can't look things up now or you can't access the mm -hmm. library's website? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There there will be some. The website will be fine. Okay. Um, it is truly just checking out books, placing holds. Um, I, I, I this is part of research work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can cover more of that in my okay. director's report because okay. I have a few more details. It's a little outside of my. Oh. Okay. <laughs> She's on the committee. They, they tell me what will happen, and I make we make it look pretty and and mm -hmm. understandable. But um, yeah. I don't go to the trainings. So. Yeah. No, no. It's just more tell like letting the public know what. Yeah, we when there'll we, be downtime and stuff. Yeah. yeah, and it's in the it's in the newsletter. Okay. coming up. Um, so that'll be the first, no. the first thing. Are there any special efforts you're doing for One Book Will Met? And you also mentioned the Chamber in sure. terms of promotions. One Book is other. still um, is, a, is a team that is a well-oiled machine, and they um, largely run, run themselves and do a great job of, of publicity and, and getting the newspapers to pay attention. Um, we're focusing more on areas that haven't been, haven't been given that kind of treatment. Mm -hmm. um, so... One book is going great, um, but they they really do have a team that, that does a lot of that. No, I was thinking of tie-ins, I think, with the greater Wilmette community, I, I, because I know the chamber at, at one point, at one of the strategic plans, it said, you know, get the restaurants involved, you know, the, you know and having a dinner. Right, sure, them. Heather just met with them. I think okay. they talked about that a little bit. That That isn't going to happen for this year for this one book. But it will happen in some regard. We already are talking about it, um, perhaps for summer reading. Summer reading's theme this year is reading takes you everywhere, um, which is great to get you everywhere in Wilmette. So we're, we're, we're thinking about ways to take some of that into partnerships with local businesses. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Well, um, thank you. Sure. Yeah. sure. Um, Any, anything else? We look else? forward to seeing of the results of all your efforts. Great. Yeah, they're definitely very visible now, like you said okay. before. They're definitely visible now, like you said before. There's definitely a noticeable exterior change in terms of what you're what you're doing, and, and yeah, so it's, it's been great to see that. And, and you're smiling, which is a good oh. sign as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, good. Uh, good. Good. Thanks, Thanks everybody. So Thank you. Thanks. Uh, public comment. Anyone here for public comment? Okay. Um, treasurer's report. Uh, the treasurer, Ron uh, Rogers, is um, uh, out of town today, so I will do the financial reports um, located behind tab three. Um, we did receive a noticeable increase in our real estate taxes with people Early pain. Paying pay. their Everyone taxes early pay. Pay. Yeah. in December yes. to yeah. take care, you know, due to the change in the federal tax law. So it was noticeable that we received funds. We or, might not or, receive for a couple We months. wouldn't ordinarily receive them until March because yeah. usually everyone waits till you know, February 28th <laughs> to pay their taxes. Um, um, uh, other than that, there's really... Um, Nothing in particular uh, to draw your attention to uh, with respect to the budget. Um, uh, some items are below the rate, some above, and that's to be anticipated. Um, are there any questions? I am located behind tab four are the bills and salaries. Um, these need to be approved. Could I get a motion to approve the bills and salaries? So a motion. I'll second. Second. It. Uh, any discussion? All right, Stuart. Please call the roll on that one. Trustee George. Aye. Trustee Wolf. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Aye. And Trustee Olaflin. Aye. Um, 
The last item under the treasurer's uh, portfolio is the fundraising report, which is pretty much that would be the end of the, at this point, it's the end of the fundraising report. Um, as you know, we, we offered this year a, um, a choice for folks to direct, uh, we included within our fundraising appeal that if they so felt um, they could direct their, re uh, their charitable contribution to uh, disaster relief. Um, and you'll notice uh, that, in fact, we did, you know, collect a significant amount of money for, dis well, two th you know, just over $2,000 for disaster relief. That will go to the ALA, the American Library Association's Disaster Relief Fund, which is focusing on um, relief in the areas that were hit by hurricanes last year, Puerto mm -hmm. Rico, Florida, and mm -hmm. Houston. So um, I was pleased that Wilmet and Kenilworth patrons, you know, wanted some of their dollars to go there. The balance, um, donations are down a little bit, but, um, you know, reasonably consistent with what we've seen in the past. Any questions? No. All right. That concludes the Treasurer's Report portion things. Um, Do you mind doing that?